dong. Masuk para tukang beca dong. Most people won't say no to a little comedy. Did you know that before television, comedy groups would perform their routine at a series of theaters? Some grew to become so popular all over the world, and here are some of them. Hello. 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 Back in the 1920s, there were the Three Stooges, who were known for their brutal and extreme slapstick comedic style. They also start in a series of short films produced by Columbia Pictures between 1934 and 1959. The group consisted of Moses Harold Horowitz, aka Mo Howard, who acted as the older brother, Curly Howard, and Larry Fine. A film featuring a completely new Stooges was released in 2012, serving to preserve their legacy well into the 21st century. The Crazy Gang were a group of British entertainers formed in the early 1930s. The group's most well-known lineup consisted of Bud Flanagan, Chesney Allen, Jimmy Nervo, Teddy Knox, Charlie Norton, and Jimmy Gold. The group achieved considerable domestic popularity and were a favorite of the royal family, especially King George VI. This was the reason they had many royal command performances, with the last being in 1961. In addition, they also did private performances for the royal family. They also kept the people entertained during the war years with their irreverent comedy style. In Japan, the local form of comedy is called Owarai, and downtown is among the most influential and prolific performers of this art. The duo from Amagasaki, consisting of Hitoshi Matsumoto, known as Machan, and Masatoshi Hamada, known as Hamachan, was formed in 1982. They are famous for their sarcastic, short-tempered stage personas. The duo are hosts of numerous Japanese variety shows, such as Downtown No Gaki no Sukai, Ya Arahende, Hey 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 Music Champ, and Wednesday's Downtown. In 2011, NSC comedy school teachers reportedly noted that 70% of students named Matsumoto and Hamada as being among their key inspirations. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the legendary Warkop DKI are widely considered the most successful comedy group in Indonesia up to this day. Their brand of comedy has served to inspire laughter from generations of viewers. The trio of Dono, Casino, and Indro reached its peak in the 80s and the 90s with a series of seemingly silly but smart movies. In the 2010s, the Warkop DKI Reborn series of movies served to cement their legacy in Indonesia. Dalam keadaan darurat, harap mengambil jurus kodok mati menahan nafsu ganti. Apa orangnya lupa apa gimana ya? Ini kita baru bisa ber. Kodok. And while on the subject of Indonesian comedy, Sri Mulat and its many members is another group worth mentioning. 
From its humble beginnings in Solo, Central Java, the group soon grew in popularity, and at one point, they had their own television program. Even when their jokes are typically Javanese, they managed to attract a following from across Indonesia. Years after the group's heyday, several members reunited for the 2013 film Finding Sri Mulat, starring Reza Raharja. And that's just some of the most iconic comedy groups from around the world that have kept millions entertained with their art. Reski Anasto, Andre Saputra for C Today.